Come here, come here. Today we have something very special. We finally got it together and here we go. We're gonna be doing the unboxing of all this equipment for Micro Saturn. Uh, we have here probably like um, around 1500 bucks on equipment. So let's start by the power supply. As you guys know, we use the 30 volt uh, by five amps. That doesn't mean you're gonna apply that to a motherboard. You're gonna kill it. Simple, nothing major here. Just kick the box. Here we go. This power supply comes, of course, with the power cord. So let's put that on the side. And this is the power supply itself. As you guys can see, it has um, uh, four digits. Very important when you're gonna work on motherboards to have a four digit uh, power supply. As you guys can see, we can control the, the voltage with this one and the amperes with the other one. And we have just one put on off switch, not much to see there and nothing on the back, just a cooling fan and a plug protected with a fuse right here. As you guys can see right there, I'm gonna go closer. That's the power supply. We're gonna be just unboxing this. I'm gonna set it up. And then probably we're gonna just, uh, I wanna show you how it looks and when it's power on, okay? Heat gun, rig workstation, whatever you wanna call it. The model is A61DW. I'm gonna just unbox it and show you a little bit. Uh, the whole machine. We have one little problem here, the UK adapter. Why I did that? This is kind of a failure for me. So we're gonna be getting uh, an adapter for this one and it's gonna be all good. This one comes with the base, which is really nice and heavy. So when you stop using it, you're just gonna place your heat gun right there. And it comes with these different nozzles. You guys can see right there. It's three of them. There we go, I'm gonna put that on the side. So we have all this equipment already. As you guys can see, our lab is getting on shape. Next, soldering iron. I mean, a very hard choice and you have to do it wisely. It has to last you. You have to make your money back from this station. So I, I just went and buy the JBC. Uh, the one I currently using on my lab is uh, it's a different model than this, but this is half of the price and can get the job done uh, just the same. Uh, I didn't make the mistake on this on this case. Uh, I did the mistake on that one. So I'm not gonna even lie and tell you, oh, this is what I wanna order. No, I just, I just made a mistake on that one. But anyways, uh, we're gonna be opening this, some manufacturer labels. It comes with a very nice uh, packaging, protecting, taking this cushion cover. And here we go. So you guys can see how that beast is resting right there. There we go, guys. Very nice, very nice. All things that others don't have. Uh, it has the holder for the tips. It has a holder for the cable. You know, you don't want that cable just lay on top of your desk. It's gonna just go nice and steady over there, as you guys can see on the picture. This one will do the job just well. Like this one is like a micro pencil or for precision. Precision, sorry, in station. Okay, it comes with extra changeable grips, as you guys can see. When they wear off, you can just change it then. And it comes with uh, two tips. Closer, there you go. That's like for cleaning and the other one for uh, to do small, tiny microscopic jumpers. Come on, see, no more in the box and we're gonna just, now we have our solder uh, station right there. The biggest box right here. You guys, uh, I bet you guys know already what it is, uh, but I want to just tell you, it's a microscope. Okay, uh, this is clearly what I didn't want. Uh, we got the wrong one. 
if you want to install a camera you have to like open this up and if you want to see on both eyes you have to kind of close it you guys can see like this and that so this is not what I wanted so I'm gonna have to go back and see what's going on with this I'm gonna get back to you guys so I went and speak with the company and here we got the new one okay here we go and just to let you know guys the microscope that I was looking for it was the simul focal uh, trinocular this one also comes with a light of course uh, it comes with this box we can lower or higher our light brightness uh, this light alone is uh, about a hundred bucks okay I just request um, only one of these uh, Barlow lens 0 0.5 this down here okay to promote more of this there you go we're gonna just open it like this believe me if you guys are into equipment this is just pure fun there we go finally okay guys here we have the head as you guys can see this one is actually a little bit bigger than the one I'm actually using at my lab and it comes with this um, adapter which is the one you're gonna use for the camera um, kind of clip okay I got my crazy screwdriver here so we're just gonna unscrew this this we can rotate uh, on any direction we want so back and forth it's not a problem uh, I'm gonna tie this up to have a trap in there so it doesn't fall but that's fine and in here is this cover you see this goes up and down also you can lock it so it doesn't go up and down at any distance you choose right there you see those beautiful lens never used and I'm gonna install right away my Barlow lens which I have right here so at the same time so there we go this is set up what we have here is the eye pieces and how they go very easy you just drop it in there I guess uh, there we go and uh, the little um, the screws they go right there you see the hole that is where the little screws goes so I'm gonna put this last I don't want to mess this up and I'm, I'm gonna just do it in last so as you guys know whoever owns a microscope this big dual arm microscope comes with a very heavy base Ooh. I don't know why that, that you can see all this stuff very nice look everything what we need to mount our microscope let's uh, let's put it together and see how it looks
we're done with our station right here. We have a pretty good build to uh, do our micro starting, uh, cell phones, computers, and all kinds of stuff you want to do. And remember, after this, you're gonna need a multimeter, a stencil, soldered, uh, soldered paste, flux. Okay, you know what I mean. So if you want, if you don't know that kind of stuff, just leave a comment down below or reach me out. I might make a video if I have time. I just uh, I don't have time to cover all that on this video because it's gonna be too long. Okay, guys, thank you for bearing with me. It's been a while, then uh, I've been wanting to finish this station, but I, I didn't have the time or something just stopped me. Like the choosing the microscope, which is really important important this is the heart of the station the microscope on this case but thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video just let me know in the comments down below what do you want me to do next and i'll see you later